Ladies and gentlemen. Been a minute, hasn't it? Okay, hasn't really been, but nevertheless. You're live, of course, back in New Orleans, Louisiana. <coughs> this. What is currently the, the Caesar Superdome. It's home to uh, to the EAUF playoffs, the semifinal round, well not semifinal, the quarterfinals to say, and the home of tonight's matchup, the Sugar Bowl, live of course, on the sh on the sh on the channel that pretty much you should know about, or if you haven't, okay. Anyways, welcome. To the Big Easy. Of course, I am pretty much tonight's streamer and the main man himself. 7AX Chaos Topia. We are live with two with two teams. The number six UCF Knights and the number three Ole Miss Rebels. As kickoff is officially starting, we are underway here. EAUF playoff action continues as Mihara will go ahead and will get the return out to the 43-yard line, I believe. Yes, it will be. And here's and they're going to call subs. And here will be the Ole Miss offense, of course, led by Heisman Trophy finalist Little Sag, a.k.a. Bailey. He's had himself a nice season so far in the EAUF, finishing second and passing yards this season with 2,947. 37 touchdowns, which leads the entirety of EAUF against only just five picks. Of course, there's also plenty of other awards he went ahead. He also was a finalist for. Going ahead and and making it as a David O'Brien Award finalist for the nation's best quarterback. And also being the Home, Dep the Home Depot Award finalist for Coach of the Year. This started. It seems that right now Ole Miss is having a bit of a cosmetic issue on right now. Trying to go in and get stuff set up. There we go. And here comes the offense. It's Bailey. We'll go ahead and we'll push. Dan dancing around. We'll go for the run. And he's pa packled up by speeding faster. Of course, it's the tackle. Of course, the USCF defense. Having, of course, one of the... One of the leaders in sacks this season, that being E. Cine. And of course, the Defensive Player of the Year and Jim Thorpe Award winner. Co the, the number A, which should be a rogue boo, a.k.a. Kosi. He is currently on the sideline. There he is. The short corner had five interceptions. Of course, a pass down the field. This one on second down, incomplete, intended for Caribbean. <coughs> now here comes a third down now for Ole Miss. It seems at the moment, Ole Miss is having issues with players. So a bit of an issue for right, right now at the moment. So we're waiting, we're waiting for some clarification from for Ole Miss. Now, of course, we can, at this time, kind of talk about what they've been able to accomplish. 7-1 and one record, number three rank. They are only lost in the season, coming to the number two 
North Carolina Tar Heels, who last night took a devastating loss. Over, I believe, in the Peach Bowl. And that really went ahead and really sh kind of shocked, shocked everyone, I should say. Of course, losing to Hideo and the Clemson Tigers. So, OTI officially called, so, clar so the clarification has been completed. And, of course, now the right side will go as Bailey will go ahead and will drop back. Throws this one complete. This one, Dyclout is there. Dyclout gets a gain at 29. Tackled up by Brother Semi Santana. And, of course, the Ole Miss offense getting the first down. And of course, now the right side for Bailey. Drop him back. She'll go look to push up. Fires complete down the field. What a catch. Ryu LC4 tackled up by B Smart for a gain of 20. Of course, worth noting pretty much the offensive line help. Gulag, of course, the main center. He is at center tonight. Here's the pass, though. Complete. That's incomplete. Kelsey would try to make the catch, but who else but the defensive player of the year, the Thorpe Award winner. Kelsey going ahead and making plays. Second and goal coming up. Bailey on the right side. We'll go to the we'll stay in the pocket. We'll push up. We'll be forced to the right side a bit. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Pass wide open. Moho touchdown. Oh miss. Goes ahead and starts the chaos. That does one thing about Moho this season. He had, a, he had a very fine year in the regular season. 18 catches, 357 yards, and four touchdowns. There he is making a play like that again. And here's a two-point conversion. They do not care. They do not like the, this team. Caribbean walking that one in. Two points. You can count it. As Ole Miss will go ahead and will lead 8-0. <sighs> man, oh man. Now, of course, Moho getting ready to kick this one back. This one will be down the field, and it's going to be picked up by none other than B Smart. B-Smart going to go ahead and he will look for some blocks. B-Smart will go ahead and will get tackled at the 25-yard line. So here comes the UCF offense led by Dito Vert, a.k.a. B-Smart. Leading, leading, the, leading the entire EAU life in rushing with 234 yards and four touchdowns. And of course... UCF, 6-2 record on the year. Probably one of the more wild seasons that you can discuss. Of course, you mentioned B-Smart and his effective running. His passing, he went ahead and he finished 8th in passing with 202, well, 2,285 yards passing. 25 touchdowns, 8 picks, but the completion percentage raises an eyebrow. 
standing at just 50%. For, for context of this, it's pretty much the lowest among, I believe, all, any of the QBs that played it in the CFP so far in, in the playoffs. Especially within the top 10. Here's a pass down the field. Mike West killer. Toss up. Eighth complete. I believe that was the number eight. Baddest boy Zai on the play. And that will be incomplete. So who the heck was that? That is none other than, yeah, the guy's name is Zai. So. Now, of course, Ole Miss's defense, they, of course, got a good defensive core. Here we go, dropping back. Beastmart throwing this one to the left side. It's caught by ASAM. I believe that is Brother Semi Santana. It is. He's going to be down the sideline. I don't think anyone's going to catch him. No one will. Touchdown, UCF. And, of course, a follow. Mean boy. Thank you for the fall, my brother. Syrup FF2. Welcome. You guys are going ahead and seeing the EAUF playoffs in effect. Of course, if you want to join the EAUF? We got the commando up here. EAUF. This all you need to make the exclamation part. Type it in. And you good. I should give you guys a link to the Discord server. Now, of course, here comes the PAT, and the kick to and through UCF leads. Well, does they don't lead actually? My uh, my apologies. They trail eight to seven. Talk about that 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 fourth that that pass rush for Ole Miss, of course, with one. With linebacker of the year finalist Moho and then of course Gulag and Kelsey. So far that hasn't really been the problem now. But here we go though. As Dimec will go ahead and we'll make the return. Dimec will go and will get tackled by Lily. Lily went flying out of that one. And I and I believe this is pretty much a bit of a different environment for Albies. Of course, we've seen her a lot in OFL, but not really much in EA UF or NCAA for that matter. Bailey standing in the pocket will go to the left, to the right side. Arsenal in pursuit, throwing this one complete. That's Kelsey. He's there. He's going to get past the 45 to the 50. Not past the 50. Talking up by Watson Santana. Of course, here comes he. Here comes more of the, of the offense. Bailey on the right side. The throw down the field. Broken up. Zai went ahead and had the catch, but broken up by Scepters. So that one will, of course, be incomplete. At the 50, second and 10. Now, of course, standing in the pocket is Bailey on the right side. Bailey dropping back. Bailey throwing this one complete somehow to Caribbean. Beastmart was on him like sticky glue. Yet, the Caribbean, as reliable as they come, making a very impressive catch. And of course, Bailey on the left side. Bailey pre being pressured by Lily. Lily with some nice containment. Here comes K9. Not for long, but that containment was just disappeared. And now here's, of course, Moho with the catch. Moho trying to get a block. And Moho gets finally tackled for a gain of 32. So they'll put set them up in the candy shop. Or as I like to call it. Or if you want to call it that. It's commonly known as the red zone. Anyways, it's first and goal. 
Here we go on the right side. Bailey. No pressure so far. Just taking his time. Throwing. Ed zone. Touchdown, Zai. And Ole Miss extends the lead. There's one thing for sure. Here we go. Oh, this is going to be the two point here. As Bailey will stay in the middle, throwing this one. And they take out their Uno cards and get UCF two for their mistakes again. 16 to 7. They take a two possession lead. EAU, EAU Network. Thank you for the fall. It says, Good job, Chaos. Thank you. Thank you. Great commentary. I don't know, man. Normally, it just feels like I go 50-50. Today, I just feel, yeah, I just feel like I'm good to go. So maybe it's pretty much the energy effect, and the P and that'll be the kick for a touchback. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see the UCF offense once again by B Smart. As I mentioned earlier, one of the wilder QBs of this season. On one hand, number eight in passing yards. On the other hand, 50% completion exactly. 93 completions on 186 attempts. Now, of course, B-Smart will go ahead and will drop back. B-Smart will stay in the pocket now. Under duress, gets it off in time. This one, a trust pass! And caught by Mike Hendricks! That literally could have gone horribly want wrong, and UCF manages to make a little something out of nothing. I'm gonna go drink because Hideo beat Jewel. Oh God, I'm still flabbergasted about that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like for real, bro. I had. Oh, what the hell? Let me exit out of that. Apparently, I pressed accidentally mashed a button. All right. Be smart. Dropping back on the left side. We'll throw this one. Trust pass to Mike. 2v2. And just over incomplete. And now that will be a third and six coming up. But yeah. I'm Like I said, I, like I said for real though. I did not expect Tidio to go ahead and. One playoff win was pretty much impressive. I don't think he'll make it to, to Natty. If he does, we're doomed. That's all as simple as that. Of course, I'm going to draw and drink some water real quick as Lafar with the catch, and he gets the first down. Gain of eight. Tackled by Caribbean. Now be the end of one. Said the sniper calls the ref as this will be the second quarter start. Of course, tonight's ref, Jake Greenway, Duder, and Sid the Sniper. As first and ten, B Smart under duress. I have no idea what the hell was that tight end doing. This passes. Let's ask uh let's ask Keith Sit where that pass was to. Nobody? Nobody. Yeah, that's not surprising. The Rats gonna call it grounding, even though there was a receiver there. <laughs> Why did that wide receiver not jump 50 feet in the air? Oh, dokes. Oh, dokes. You, you're you're silly. So second and 26 coming up. Of course, a sideline warning called on Ole Miss. Grounding gets called, and that will be second and 26. As B Smart will go ahead and will be under duress. B Smart will throw this one complete. That's LaFart. And he gets this one down for a gain of 15, so third and 11. Normal, 
normal case, that's a first down. But with that with that grounding penalty, that did that was loss of down. B smart throwing and Zaw wide open Lafart touched down UCF. There's one thing B Smart has done. It's show up when he's needed to. And that just happened again. But PAT, to and through. And that will be 16 to 14. Don't know why why they're not going for two, but eh. Cause it just seems like you Ole Miss will just go for two every time they score. And they've gotten the first two. Now, of course, UCF, first round of the playoffs for them, as another six team, they had to this go be stay at home, playing against Fonzo Gretti, a Hall of Famer, and the Texas Longhorns. That one, they took care of, the, the, Golden, the Knights went ahead and took care of business at home, as that was a 27-6 win. Over in Florida. Now, of course, is Dimec on the return. Dimec will get tackled by Scepters. And now will be out to the 32-yard line. And here comes the offense. Met by none other than Bailey. Heisman that season didn't win it, though, as it went to Alpha Santana of Penn State. We actually saw last night take on Maryland. Here's a pass down the field here, incomplete. So second down coming up. So uh, yeah, we mentioned the Heisman. Alex Antana going and winning it. We saw him last night at the Rose Bowl actually, and that would end pretty much in Penn State's favor as they pretty much. How 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 do you say it? Yeah, they went ahead and they did devious things to to Mar to Maryland, winning forty eight to twenty six. Meanwhile, first down here in this game, off following the catch, as Bailey will go ahead and will go to the right side, and there's Prowling showing up, and this one Doming why the hell open is Dimac I believe what the hell. Dimec gets spun down, tackled up by, by Kelsey. And here will be first and goal, well, first and 10, actually, at the 19 for the Rebels. Bailey will throw complete. That's going to be Moho. Gets a gain of five, second and five coming up. I tell you, these games get are pretty much so fun to watch sometimes. Whenever they get, whenever they're close games, though, and whenever also have the right energy. Of course, Bailey dropping back that pass incomplete. The defense, one of the of the defensive linemen went ahead and got his hands on it. Now third and five coming up. Bailey. We'll drop back. We'll throw. Incomplete. So fourth and five coming up, and it seems that Audios is on the sideline. Of course, yeah, we saw Audios last night. Pretty much playing for Penn State and had a couple of nice big play touchdowns in that game. As here we go, the split on the right side. Bailey, could go for the run here. He actually, like, he is open. Bailey, he could go for the run. Jesus. Bailey, why did you go for the run? I get the throw, but. Just take the run, dude. 
you had you had the run. I get I get why you threw it, but just take the run. Like he could have took it off, no one would have blamed you. This ain't the whole foul, bro. This isn't. <laughs> nah, dude. This this is the regular season. This is the playoffs. Now, of course, rechecking into the game now. Of course, Lily. Check on and pretty much get her cosmetics back on. Of course, wearing that, that necklace, of course, I believe, because of her significant other, Pulley Horse. Now, of course, UCF needed a chance to take the lead. They get their chance. Here's the pass complete. Oh, nearly intercepted by the semi. Would have had the catch, but denied by Ryan. On on the field, suspended. All right. This one will be second and ten. The throw down the field, incomplete. So third and ten coming up. All right, here we go. The throw down the field, it's intercepted! Who else but Dimec? And that will be Ole Miss football. Now, of course, here's going to be the offense of Ole Miss following the interception. As Kelsey with the catch. Kelsey gets, can, can he get away? Gets away from Kosey, but not for long. Tackled by Batman. That's going to be a gain of 27. Now, of course, Bailey going to go for the run. Bailey. What the hell? <laughs> Yo! That brother falling in the air. <laughs> they execute you, Cal. Yo! <laughs> what? What? Okay, let me clip that. Hold up. What? Bailey is a troll, bro. Yo. <laughs> that's so that's so stupid, dude. Nah, actually, now I know why he didn't run. <laughs> 20 seconds before games. <laughs> I can actually hear myself in the clip just screaming what WTH. Alright, right side roll for Bailey after that miscue. <laughs> oh man. Hey, classic. Complete to Caribbean. Gets a game of 13. Tackle up by K9. Let's send this over. Yeah, this is just not sports time <laughs> moment, <laughs> bro. All right, staying in the pockets, Bailey. Bailey going for the run. Bailey making a nice move. Bailey shut down by Watson Santana. Now, of course, third and goal coming up. Lining up in the shotgun snap.
Bailey, can he go for the run? He won't. Won't take it. That's Caribbean. Here comes Lily. Lily contains it. Throws it. Wide open. Die Clout. Touchdown. Old Miss. As this one will go ahead and will extend their lead to eight points. They're just going to go for two again. Convert that. And then they're going to be leading, leading by ten. And I believe I don't think Bailey moved on that one, but I think he was just forced. And the catch by the kicker and not by the kicker, by the ref. So they do kick the one, they lead 23 to 14. course now here will here comes the UCF offense that's be smart oh lord tackle to the 34 yard line I should say all right As, all right, be smart. Low time left, throwing this one. Brother Semi, no. Jammed up by Ryan. As that one will go ahead and we'll see. A nice little second and ten situation now. Time running thin for UCF. Be smart on the right, in the pocket. Down the middle, throw it, caught! Mazda, off to the races, everybody at the door. I feel like I'm falling behind. This is a crazy life. And this one, they'll take all the time in the world. Two, one, touchdown UCF. And of course, Ole Miss challenging for a pick play. And of course, also more admins have showed up. This gap is, is in the building. And of course, who else is also in the building besides that? Jolly, Juice World Terror, Dokes, Sir Mornin, Rhino, Jack Strange, Biodomed, and 38 Bull. So, yeah, just, just a lot of people. And of course, this guy, Fonzo. Why do you exist? Why, why are you here, Fonzo? Are you taking stats? So they're going to review the play to see if Ole Miss was picked on that play. Call will stand a touchdown for the Knights. HSU EAF next up, man. Well, I can tell you, it's going to be interesting. I've thought about playing in it, but I probably won't. I tell you. Giving pretty much some of the younger guns a chance to actually really play the game. It works. I can tell you that. I think it could theoretically work again. If certain things also happen. I mean, there's no way a pandemic will automatically shows up, right? Like, theoretically, there's no way a pandemic happens again, right? And then we're all stuck in the house. And then, before we know it, this channel goes ahead and somehow blows up. Yeah, UF blows up. OFL blows up again. Basically, every row sport league will experience a glow up. Because of the U.S. government. There's, there's no way that happens, right? 
If it happens, do not. The governor's at your door tomorrow. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> if that happens, <laughs> I'll be visited by federal agents. I got too silly. So that so the kick will be at the thirty-five to end this. To what what could be potentially be the final play of the first half? Look at this cam in, in the pylon. Course. Look at this official ball. Autograph by Jake Greenway himself. Yeah, found. So, yeah, found. Sounds are back too. Now they they've added it pretty much just in time for the playoffs. Cause so I don't have to use pretty much the crowd thing that Kiri went ahead and usually uses. I'm mean, excited. All right, so this will be the end of the first half. Barring a, the barring an offensive penalty on the right side, Bailey. He has plenty of space. Bailey throwing this one. Got it off in time. Intercepted by Brother Semi Santana. And that will be the half as UCF will get it to start the second half. They're in perfect position to take the lead. Through turns to start the second half. Mazda. So they so opt to skip the second half. Mazda gets to return out to the 31. Say that with a proud accent. Here we go. Second half of action. Why is Gap Gap on the field? Gap on the field. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, that pass incomplete. Mike West killer out of bounds catch. That was a good catch too, but just yeah. That was way like that's gotta be a redo. Shit <laughs> <coughs> Miss, like that did not affect that. Nah. Nah, I mean ham. I think jo did Jolly get banned? Oh god, Jolly got banned. You hate to see it. Try to candle for Jolly tonight. Here we go, the pass down the field. This one incomplete. Third down and 10 coming up. What's been so far a very solid night for UCF despite a few flaws. All right, so third down and 10 coming up. Billy trying to block. Throwing this one down the field. Mike cannot get it. And that will be fourth down. And they're going to be forced to punt. So out comes the punt team. Of course, probably led by pretty much what? Yeah, be smart. Going to 
away. They're gonna wait all the time they can before they execute this point. And they're gonna wait, oh my goodness. Tackled up by Ryan, out to the 18. So of course, here comes the Ole Miss offense. They've been pretty solid so far, besides that one play. Ahem. <laughs> Fourth down. But overall, it's been a really consistent night. Look at, oh, they're trying to put, get Moko back on, and yeah, he doesn't have a shirt. Okay, there he is. <laughs> So this is a bit of <coughs> old Russia mixed with some of Bailey's old and new. But so far, so good. It's a, it's been a pretty good game, I can tell you that, County. Because Ole Miss has played well. UCF has really played up to potential. So, of course, there we go, though. Ole Miss looking for the chance to potentially blow this game away. The throw down the field, complete to Kelsey. Kelsey will go ahead and make a nice catch at the 31. And they're going to go ahead and they're going to argue that he was out of bounds. He was in, though. And that was obvious. I think it's that McConaughey. No, it's Charlie Coolby. That has to be McConaughey. There's a lot of people here. CDB showing up. Yeah, people show up for these games. Imagine if Creek Craft after the match show up for this game, bro. That would be funny. Here's, of course, the pass is going to fall incomplete. Can you imagine, like, Roblox celebrities, like, the highest Roblox celebrities, went and saw and came to see Roll Sport games? I mean, it's possible, like, an OFL and here in EAUF, but, like, LFG. An AFL, that would be literally oh, damn near impossible. Unless they were to stream that game. <laughs> Alright, Bailey under duress, throwing. This one complete to Caribbean. Caribbean gets tackled up by B Smart, gain of five. Yeah, I could tell you this. This has been a nice experience so far tonight. But of course. The offense, as Bailey will go ahead and will go for the run. Bailey making plays. Bailey still on his feet. Bailey, little sag. The Heisman finalist finds the end zone on a long touchdown run of 50 yards. Oh, Miss blows this game wide open, and they can take this with two possessions once again. Talk about your hyphen moment. If you if the hyphen will decide it after this game, hey man, he got his he 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 secured it. Of course, here's a two point try, and UCF trails 31 to 21. No, no, I'm not. Uh, do what the heck? Who's this guy? Prospect. That's a lot of prospects. Are there a lot of players that actually watching this from HSU at EAUF? Huh. It just feels a, a bit different, though. All right. That's coming out to the 29-yard line. UCF trails by t by 10 points. As, of course, right on the pocket. Thank you for the fall. Tired, not alarm. 
as the pass will be complete to Arsenal. That's a gain of six on the play. So second and four coming up. This is actually probably one of my more active nights. I've had it in a long time, I can tell you that. You guys are getting pretty much a good game tonight. EAUF Sugar Bowl. Number six UCF taking on number three Ole Miss as B Smart. What the? What in the world was that? You know, Kosi's on the sidelines. He's just chilling. They got plenty of players here for the Ole Miss. Got yeah, Scepters plays usually plays defense, and I don't know who this is. That fr is that freaking fru fruity D? What the hell? What the hell does he play? Oh, they got fruity D in here. No, it's just Jamar. I don't know. Why did I thought that was fruity D for a second? Here we go, third and 25. This one broken up and incomplete. I, don't, I think that's going to be a punt. They're going to force it. Yeah. Ole Miss has went ahead and has played very better defensive ball the second half compared to the first. And on their second drive, the same result happens for UCF. So, of course, here's going to be the punt. And the here's going to be downfield. And this will be right to Caribbean. As this one will get the return. Past the 50 to the 47. <sighs> now Bailey. We need to go for the run. Oh, or whatever he needs to, but he's had a nice night tonight. Had that long touchdown run last time. Here's the pass down the field. Kelsey with the nice catch on K9. And that'll be a gain of 21 down to the 26. Do you want to talk about precision passing? Yeah, Billy's done just fine on that. Yep, they ha they do have the ball, Doka. That's like three minutes. Defense. Defense. That just ha that's what happened. Yusef is spiking every three seconds. There's a pass wide open. Nope. Denied by I believe by Brother Semi Santana. So that will be second and ten coming up. Ole Miss just looks to push away in this second half. And... Oh, don't tell me I'm going to go ahead and get tired in this one. Oh, goodness. Intercept! No! Watson! Watson had it, bro. Third down, tech coming up for <laughs> Ole Miss. Oh my goodness. On the right side, Bailey going for the run. Bailey gets it down, but it's going to be fourth and manageable. So here we go, run up the middle. This one will be pretty much a nice little gain of four. What the hell is Odd Doge doing? Odd Doge, what are you doing? What the Doge doing? First and goal, wide open. Ryan, touchdown.
go. That's a spin play, and that's a two point. Yep. Ole Miss is starting to, is starting to become a bunch of sick freaks. 39 to 21. And it seems like Ole Miss is taking shots at B-Smart. You could get Gab swing on the sideline, though. Gab's is here. It's her morning. He's just chilling. He's like, I got nothing else to do in life. I don't I don't know who this guy is. Z-Hop has showed up. That's a surprise. Prowling's looking like an old head from, like, 2007. Old ass. <laughs> All right. Who the who the heck is So who the heck is pretty much Deuce World Terror? He's just standing there like yep, I'm doing fine. Be smart on the left side. The throw Caught No Incomplete Now, of course, UCF having some, having to go ahead and, and try, and uh, allegedly they're pushing on Bailey. So yeah, they do have a defensive player on defense, probably somewhere. I don't know. I don't know who subbed. All right, be smart though on first and fifteen, throwing down the field. Desperation time, money ball, no ball, incomplete. So second and fifteen coming up. So what do they have on the field? Dymac, Kelsey, Gulag, Moho, Dyke, Dyke, all. Oh. Yeah, it's all Clemson is also on this team. And in Caribbean, yep. All right, Lily with the catch. As Lily will go ahead and will get past, and Lily, she tried to make a move, but she is not the same player she used to be. Ain't no spinning for you, Lily. Go the pass, trust pass down the field. Incomplete. Four from one. Don't know why you didn't go for the run there, but why you three six to sixty? <laughs> You're not LeBron. <laughs> yeah, you in a nutshell. I would be. I would be do a three sixty no scope because I'm better than hard scope. I mean, I respect it, but <laughs> pass down the field, and that's incomplete. Well, this game's going to be the barbecue stars. There's no way Beastmart actually leaves. There's no way Beastmart actually leaves. Five. They actually call game. And that will do it. So, ladies and gentlemen... That'll be it. So by forfeit win in the playoffs. These boys, simply known as the Ole Miss Rebels. We'll go ahead and we'll go and advance in the semifinal round. They'll probably be on the, they'll be the home, They'll be the home team, though, 
as number two, UNC was knocked back. Was knocked, was knocked out. So, I believe, let's see. After this, let's see this. It's like four games that already played. So, with that, the semifinal should be set. As Hidea will take on Penn State. Okay, okay yeah, if Sean Lev actually loses that, that's going to be hilarious. And, of course, the other side will see Iowa State take on Ole Miss. And that's going to be looked to probably be the matchup of, of the semifinals. With the winners of those games, we'll be meeting... I don't know where. Where are we? Where are the hell is the national championship going to be at? Yeah, right, so we're going to be in the natty. Now, of course, that's going to be your final. Ole Miss will go ahead and will win, I believe, 46 to 21 on a forfeit win. Yeah, it's, let me go ahead. Let me actually get near this picture. Sheesh. She's a beauty. All right. So, of course, that's going to be... That's going to be, that's going to be it for tonight. From, from the Big Easy in New Orleans, Louisiana, this has been Chaos Topia. Yeah, UCF made some pretty bad mental errors, and it showed. So tonight, your so that's your your final from the Sugar Bowl. Ole Miss wins. UCF will be going home. And of course, thank you guys for going and watching. I want to make sure I take a picture. All right, thank you guys for going and watching. Here's he's also going to be a raid coming up. We're going to be a good little good game, bro. Hope you guys go ahead and enjoy what he does. He's got some Madden. Besides that, thank you guys for going and watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good night.